No way, it's another one. I just popped something small and round out of the hole and it sure looks dime size. What is it? What do we got? Oh, it's a Merc. Well, it's supposed to warm up today. I hope it does, because it's pretty cold out here right now. It's early in the morning, though. Sun's just coming up. Uh, I just had my first good target, and it's round. Let's take a look at it. Well, I think it's too late to be a coin. It rang up high. I'm thinking it's a token. But I'm going to have to scrub it down some, because I... Oh yeah, I see something on there. Let me uh, take a brush, see what we can clean up off it here. Well, what we got here is a little religious medallion. Had a little piece of a loop on the top, but as I was brushing it, it popped it off. But there's one side of it. it looks like some sort of Catholic medallion. There's the other side of it. Not a bad first find. Something different. Definitely feels like aluminum though. All right, cool, let's move on. Oh, there's my next signal. Another harmonica reed. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if I can find some coins today. Maybe some cool relics. All right, let's go. Now I've dug right next to this spot in the past. I can see my old dig mark. But you come at it from a different direction. You can only pick up a signal you missed. I found something cool. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but it looks like it's a... Uh, piece of a little pin or brooch it's got fancy around the edges let me uh brush it off a little see what we got all right this is a pretty cool little find part of some sort of a i don't know either necklace or a brooch or a pin or something looks like there was something in the center maybe a cameo or something or a stone I don't know. Cool find anyway. All right, let's keep going. Got a real suspicious high tone right here. Just kind of chirping. All right, I'm gonna dig this one, see what we got. Well, it ended up being a ball jar lid. All right, let's keep looking. All right, there's my next find. I found quite a few of these with the, the twist in the handle. Looks like a little sugar spoon. But this one I can read on the back. Right here, it says, May 2nd, 99, which would be 1899. And over here it says, Extra Coin Silver Plate. I'll add that to my collection. I've got quite a few of these with the twist. I've got big long ones, small ones, middle ones. Kind of cool. I'm gonna have a whole set of these things for too long. All right, let's move on. All right, I just got a faint high tone here. And I saw something. Looks round. But, wow, it's too late to be a coin. What do we got? I'm betting we got another aluminum religious medallion. 
All right, let me brush it off. See what we got. Well, it's actually a aluminum Christian or Catholic medallion of some sort. I don't know everything about Catholic symbolism. I'm not Catholic, so. But it looks like there's an angel on this side. Uh, I don't know if that's mother and child or if that's a father and child or what's going on there on this side. But that's what it is anyway. It's kind of chewed up. That's the second one for the day. All right, let's see if we can find some coins now. Well, I just pulled up this cap. Just brushed it off to see what it would say on it. I think it says Shelley's Pain Extractor. And it has a little star here. Or flower or something. That's weird. Alright, let's keep going. No way. It's another one. I just popped something small and round out of the hole, and it sure looks dime size. What is it? What do we got? Oh, it's a Merc. Look at that. That's only the third Mercury I've dug out here. That is so cool. Let me clean it up and get a date off it. All right, that is fantastic. I was wondering if I was going to get a coin out here today. I've gotten 12, 13 barber's dimes. But only two other marks. This is the third one. It's in 1918. Uh, and everything was done on this property by 1920. So this is uh, wasn't very old when it was lost. And there is a mint mark. I don't know if you can see it there. It's an S. Man, that's in really good shape. Nineteen eighteen S and I got my silver for the day the first coin. I'm loving that. I was just getting a little discouraged wondering if I was gonna find a coin today. Too cool. Alright, let's keep going. Well, I've been chasing this target all over with my pin pointer. <laughs> and now I lost it again. Where is it? Well, I guess I'm going to have to get the pin pointer back out. That's funny. Oh, there it is. And. We got a coin. All right. What have we got? I think I see Lincoln on there. Yep. But not only did I uh, find a coin. I had another bottle pop out of the hole. That's a cool little one, too. No embossment or anything on it, but I'll definitely take that, clean it up, add it to my collection of little bottles. But in the meantime, let's uh, clean up this weedy and see what year we can get off it. Well... Doesn't look like we're going to get a date off this one right now. It's in pretty rough shape. I'm sure it's pre-1920, but I don't know if I'll ever get a date off this one. I'll have to wait till I get home. 
see if I can't clean it up a little better. But I did pull a bottle out of the hole with it, so I'm happy with that. And my second coin of the day. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my next target. Not quite sure what that is. All right, let's keep going. See what else we can find. And the top to a salt shaker. Not silver this time. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'm out on a chilly morning. It's uh, about 30 degrees, but there's no wind, so it's not too bad. <clears throat> uh, I only got a few hours to hunt today, but I just had my first decent target. Let's take a look. Well, I knew what this was as soon as it popped out of the ground. We got an old valve stem cover. It's pre-1920, like everything else, so probably off a of Model T or something. All right, let's keep looking. See what we can find today. Well, my next find is a old pair of scissors. Seen better years. All right, let's keep going. I got a good signal here. 45, 46. Uh, I better dig it. I can't walk by it. Let's see what we got. That ends up being an old jerky's cap. I can see the glove on the lid. All right, let's keep going. All right, not too bad. I just had my first coin pop out of the hole. Well, it's a weedy. Oh, that side's in good shape. Well, so is that side. Let me uh, see if I can get a date off it. And I'll get back to you. Well, I got a date off it. It's a 1911. No mint mark. Let's see if I can get it in the sun there. All right. Not a bad start to the day. Let's see if we can find some more. Well, there's my next signal. <clears throat> Another harmonica read. Gotten a few of these in the last couple trips out. Let's throw this one on the pile. All right, let's keep looking. Well, I wasn't going to dig this tone at first. It was kind of a mixed up tone. But I'm glad I did. It uh, appears to be a little piece off a pendant. Huh. That's a cool little find. Nothing else in the hole, so that's all of it. But nice find.